Hello, Lions Bay. If you open the village update, you've seen I've enlisted special helpers to emphasize the unique day that Halloween is for the children. We'll talk more about this later. New to the village is important to me, as you know. Upper Ocean View has two new families. Trish and Tim Baker are from Toronto and move into their new home in early January. They are excited to be moving closer to their children and grandkids, two of whom live in Squamish. Lions Bay and the Great House and View is the perfect spot for them to be, and they look forward to making new friends in the area. New arrivals, Jean-Marc Daniel, his wife Rebecca and their daughter Inez are Mary's and my new neighbors. They live two doors down. They've moved here from North Vancouver and are delighted to call Lions Bay home. They've already been embraced by the families around them. Moving into their new home on Cross Creek Road this weekend are Ben Samaru and his partner Denise. To all these new villagers, welcome. When you speak of village leaders, the name Ruth Simons is usually somewhere in the conversation. When not assisting on the Howe Sound Community Forum, she is most recently recognized as a lead of the Howe Sound Biosphere Region Initiative. Four and a half years into this project, the Canadian Commission for UNESCO has endorsed its nomination and it is now well on the way to official designation by UNESCO International. It is expected the recommendation will be forthcoming this spring. If you want to know what living in a biosphere region is all about, please go to the link highlighted below. Congratulations, Ruth, for all of your work on this amazing and important project. I'd like to acknowledge the counselors, our executive team, and our inside and outside staff. We are two years into our mandate, and I've never been associated with a group that worked so hard and pulled together to effectively serve you. I'm proud to be associated with these people, and I thank every one of them for their tremendous contribution. I've seen other mayors within the region struggle without this cohesiveness and commitment. I truly count my blessings at night, not sheep. Before Thanksgiving, I said to you that we are all tired of the pandemic, but it's not tired of us. In the three weeks since Thanksgiving, things have gotten worse as the second wave is truly here. And, am I, and I'm afraid to say it's likely to be followed by a third. We need to be diligent to prevent the spread of the virus, and I ask that you always exercise this. I spoke to a res resident yesterday. She and her husband are retired. They have a son in his 20s who lives in their basement due to work and friendship contacts. The bottom line is that he mingles in several bubbles. The parents have separated themselves from him to be safe. This is an example of hard choices that have been made with the best intentions and anticipated outcome for all possible. My point is, please don't consider any gathering beyond your immediate family bubble and to the best of your ability, be aware of who our kids are with, no matter what their ages are, and act accordingly. Have a great weekend, and I hope you and your loved ones are safe and healthy, and like me, celebrating Halloween. Happy Halloween.